Super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue like I always do. Cause in the, the product of properties power says that B to the M times B to the N equals B to the M plus N. For example, A squared times A to the fourth equals A to the second plus four, which also equals A to the sixth. What are we doing? Power of a power. It says that b to the m power to the n power, it means that you take the two exponents and multiply them. Don't cry, it's easy. Here's another example. 5 to the second power to the fourth power. You multiply 5 to the second power times 5 to the second power times 5 to the second power times 5 to the second power. Four times. Then add 5 squared plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. It equals 5 to the 8th. The end. A and B to the parentheses to the ninth power. Take A times itself in times. Now take B times itself in times. Simplify it and that equals to A to the N and B to the N. Let's try again. Like A and B parentheses, take it to the third power. This equals to AB, AB, and AB. Then you simplify it so it will become A to the third and B to the third. So your final answer is A to the third times B to the third. Now you have negative 4x to the third power. This will give you negative 4 times negative 4x times negative 4x. If you simplify it, that will equal to negative 4 to the third times x to the third. The end. It states that when a number is taken to a negative exponent, it is the same as the reciprocal of the number to the opposite of its exponent. This is true because you must always divide the number to the exponent by the number to go down an exponent. For example, to get from 2 to the third, or 8, to 2 to the second, or 4, you need to divide 8 by 2, which equals 4. Hence, you would use the same rule for negative exponents. For instance, 2 to the negative second, which is 1 divided by 2 divided by 2, which is 1 over 2 to the second, which is 4. So it is 1 over 4. An example of this is 10 to the negative third power. Using the property of negative exponents, you can rewrite this as 1 over 10 to the third. This simplifies out to 1 over 1 o o o, which is the correct answer. Hmm. On this problem, we are going to use the quotient of power's property. Here is P5 over P5. Now we need to find out the answer to this problem. Well, we know that a number over the same number on a fraction equals 1. Oh, yeah. And that put the quotient of power to this kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're done. The power of a quotient property says that for all non-zero, A and B, 
And for all n, a over b in parentheses to the power of n equals a to the power of n over b to the power of n. The power of a quotient property can be used to simplify fractions. You need this and it is used because it enables you to find powers of fractions more quickly. You multiply with x height, length, and three dimensions. Volume of tall box equals p parentheses p over four parentheses to the second times h. Volume of a short box is parentheses two over four parentheses squared times one third. To change volume, use property of powers to simplify the expression. La 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 la. We're done. The product of square roots property. For all non-negative real numbers a and b, the square root of a times the square root of b equals the square root of ab. The square root of 27 factors out into 9 and 3. 9 factors out into 3 and 3. 3 and 3 would factor out into 3 times the square root of 3 by using the products of square roots property. You can simplify square roots very easily.